Have our cities just lost their spark? Why is no one creative anymore? And if you guys are just sick and tired of this modern architecture that looks so boring and dull, and it feels like it's one of those, that SpongeBob episode where Squidward is peddling and he sees all the houses are all the same and everything looks like this townhouse development, but it's so boring. There's no authenticity, there's no culture. When I was traveling abroad, I remember seeing this giant door with a giant knob in the middle and it didn't even open the door. It was the door knob was down below, but it was beautiful. It was grandiose. It was architecturally brilliant, but that was designed years and years and years and years and years ago. Now, when we're supposed to be more advanced and better at design and more creative because we have the ability to, we're not. It's so boring. Even in New York right now, there's like anti-homeless benches where there's spikes on benches where they make this thing where you kind of just have to lean on it and that's you sitting on a bench. Our design is anti-homeless. Our design isn't for the betterment of beauty or design. We had more beautiful designs back then. Now, it's all cheap, fast, modern, but it isn't actually beautiful. And everything is going to this mindset of sameness. Cities of the past used to have so many different types of styles and vibes. When you went to Spain, it was a different vibe than it went to Germany. When you went to Portugal, when you went to Egypt, Japan, there's so many different styles of architecture and culture throughout all of these civilizations. Even when you look at ancient civilizations, there was a style, there was a culture. Even look at the Roman Empire, there were styles, the Greek, there was a style. But now it doesn't exist. Everyone's making the same thing. You can go to a McDonald's in Pennsylvania versus in Oregon. They're going to look the same. You go to one in the UK, looks the same as the one that's in Dubai. Why? Why they all look the same? They don't have their own flavor. They don't have their own style or pizzazz anymore. Because again, that ruins our creativity. That makes everything look so boring. We know it's for the sake of urbanization and growth. To grow fast, you can't really be doing it creatively because that takes too much time. But La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona that's been building for years and years and years and years, that's basically never finishing up, it's stunning, it's beautiful, and they've been building it for so long. But it's a huge tourist attraction place now in Barcelona because of that, because of how authentic it is, because of how beautiful it is. There's a reason. But why is it that more places don't do these types of things? Because it just takes more time, it's not profitable, it's not worth their investment. But we should just build these giant skyscrapers straight up in the air and put colors on them and say, yep, congratulations, you built the building. But it's not beautiful, it's just big. What's the point of that? There's no sense of a walkable environment in a city where everything's authentic, it's built for humans to walk around and enjoy. But no, it's built for productivity, enhancing our society, and it's like robotic, and it's not enjoyable. But you guys see this too, where we're living in this life of everything is the same, and it's boring. There is this difference in level of modernism versus functionality. And when something's beautiful, but it's not functional, then yeah, they get it, what's the point? But there is a balance of something being beautiful and functional. And sometimes the best thing about the functionality and the beauty is when they mesh perfectly. I get it. You don't want all gold-plated rims in the house and shiny and this and that, but what happened to the colors and the environment rather than these grays and these monotone colors? Even you look at cars, look at the popular car colors over the last 10, 20 years. People used to have these quirky car colors. Now the most popular colors are again, the most bland colors, the silvers, grays, blacks, whites. But People don't get the red car anymore, the lime green turquoise car with stripes on the side. It's not seen as something to buy. Because again, nowadays too, is there a resale value to it? Is it incentivizing you to have a resale value for it because it's a depreciating asset? It's all this mumbo jumbo talk. And I don't know, I feel like we could be innovative still with the architectural design that we liked. For example, when you're in a Mediterranean vibe, there's a culture, there's a style, there's a spots in Greece, in Egypt that have this vibe, this Red Sea, Alexandrian vibe to it, right? And me being Egyptian, sometimes I see styles in Egypt and I'm like, yo, this is so dope. I love this style here. I love the colors of everything. Wow, this building has its own like salmony pink blue color. That's so cool, that's authentic. Oh, they're using the materials from the environment around them, that's dope. But now it's like, we don't do that often in America. We don't do often that in Europe. And it's like, we're always entering the sameness. But again, we need a balance. Having that cultural identity is important. Having the community involved is really important. But we need this in our society because then it makes us who we are as people. But nowadays, everyone's like, oh, include everyone, sameness, sameness. But no, sometimes it's okay to have differences. You don't have to all be the same. Not one size fits all, you know? I love seeing local art. I love seeing when things come out within the environment. Even when it comes to like music or art or dance or whatever it is, it's an expression of oneself. And per area in the map in the world, there's a different form of that expression. And shouldn't we also translate that not only to ourselves, but the buildings that are surrounding us? What do you guys think?
Thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode. Be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think about this. Because I know you guys probably feel the same way, and I've seen this as well. So again, please feel free to leave those comments. It boosts the algorithm. I really appreciate the love. I really appreciate you guys supporting. And again, let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you guys next week.